Hello, I'm back. And we are going to do uh, a 120 by 40. And I'm going to do it uh, a little differently this today. It's going to be uh, a double pour. So I will be... I already painted the background. It's uh, a warm, warm brown color. And I mixed it myself, so I can't tell you which color it is. I just um, used Van Dyke Brown. And I used some... Let me see what that color is called. I put in some Liquitex Basics, some Burnt Sienna. So this is the color that I got. And I put it on with a sponge so it's nice and opaque. And what I want to do is I want to do a pour uh, like that, vertical. And then... I'll just let it move a little bit. If there's no silicone in there, there's only uh, four colors and all it has is a pouring medium and some water to thin it to the right consistency. So I'm gonna pour it from here. Just a little bit of a diagonal, uh, diagonal thing. Then I'm going to um, tilt it just a little bit like this to make it a, a little bit broader and then I'm going to come in with the same colors but then there's silicone in it and I'm going to be pouring a, a narrower stripe right over it and then I'm going to torch it so oops torch forgot my torch and I might even have to fill it a little bit so let's do that and I hope the uh, lighting is good because I've got one of my daylight lamps to shine some more light on it. Let's see. I think that'll be okay. So it's going to be a double pour. And right now I'm going to start putting the paint in. And I do want it to have stripes going down. So that's why I'm putting the paint in like this. Just putting it in stripes in this container and I'm, I, I'll be pouring it out of here, the narrow, the narrow bit. Then I also have some gold, which I like, to give it a little sparkle. And if it doesn't work, I can al always add some uh, gold sparkle later. And this, what I'm putting in now, is um, the colors without the silicone. I know there's an S on here, but that was a little mistake. The other ones all have the silicone. Putting it down very gently, because I don't want it to mix, mix up. I want to uh, really try to um, keep some of those nice and long stripes because I just think that'll make it a little prettier when I do the silicone on top. Then the last of the sand beige. And then some more brown. Like that. That's enough paint. And I still have some of the other color like that. So I poured it all in like this and that's horizontal. Um, but I'm going to pour it out of the narrow bit. So that's it. So I'm going to pour from here. And I'm going to try to get it to go sideways but I'm not going to be tilting the canvas as I pour. Ew, now it's difficult to get the angle that it's going to come out. I better sit around the other way like this. Okay, let's do it. I 
was going to do it like that and a little bit more up here a little bit more down here and now I am going to tilt it a little bit let it go down a bit and tilt and the other way Okay, let's see if I got the canvas covered. I don't think so, so got to put in a little bit more here. There was a little hole in the canvas and right here. That's all covered. Okay, just a little tilt because I added some paint. A little bit more down there. Okay, that's enough. Yep, that's it. I like it. I'm just checking it out if I really like it. I do. And now I'm going to come in with the, um, the silicone colors. So that can be a little bit more mixed. I don't have to really layer it down that much. But I might have to do this um, in two or three times because that's what I'm, I'm planning. I want it to go straight through, not just um, one pour. But I'd like to have it like go along here, like that, then up here, and then do one zigzag right through it. And I really like the colors. They uh, go very well together. That's that one. Ooh, that's all. So I'll give it just a little swirly. Not too much. I think that's about it. And now I'm going to pour out of the corner of the uh, container. Just like that. And I'm following the flow of the previous pour. And then I'm going to pour on top, just like that, just to give it something a little different. Let it go wide a little bit. That's it. Good. Got to refill it in a little bit. That's good. I gotta see if there are no um, blank pieces in my canvas because I don't like that. Once you pour, you know, I want this to be solid paint. And it's hard to see because the uh, background is solid brown. That's it, that's enough. Just let it go a little bit. And a little bit down here. Okay, I think that's pretty.
okay so what I've got now is where I put the um, the silicone paint over on top like a ribbon I torched that so that has a lot of cell action then on the sides I torched that it has cell action but the rest of it which had did not contain any silicone that stayed pretty much um, untouched and I kind of really like that over here this is pretty but I, I'd really like uh, the cells to just get a little bigger and I think I'll have to tip it over the other side a, li a little like that just to get it to go bigger that's it Yep, I'm going to get you guys and I'll show you the close-up. <coughs> here we go. Okay, so here you see the beginning. And you can see the ribbon, where the ribbon went down the middle. That's where the action is. Then a bit without the action. Of course you see the colors, you know, playing with each other, but <clears throat> not really cells. <coughs> then you see here, you see some beautiful cells right there. Then on top, you'll see some cell action. And that in the middle, it looks a little yellow, but that's the gold and it'll uh, turn it will change a bit then there you have a beautiful bit of uh, cells right down here so this looks um, for me this is beautiful let's see if I can get you a nice and sharp picture there it is And can you see how um, the uh, negative space makes it, you know, like the pattern itself is pretty, um, there's pretty much going on. But because I've used so much um, negative space, it's still pretty calm and it fits the picture. So let's see if I can get up close. There we go. There's a lot of stuff going on. I like this bit. I think that is really pretty. All along the side. Then here, these cells are pretty. Okay. I will now go and upload this. And I'll go and look for a spot for this to lay down and dry. And. I'm not sure if I'm gonna going to uh, put some gold in it. I'm not really sure. I might, you know, those glitters. I might put a little bit in, but I'm not really uh, totally sure. And I will have some touching up to do once it's dry because I see some uh, where I see that. There's a little bit of uh, dirty stuff going on there. Don't know how I did that, but oh well. We can always touch it up. So uh, thank you for watching and the next video, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. Oh yeah, I got to work on an intro. So that might be what I'm going to work on. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.